Hello everyone, welcome to another machine learning tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement randomized search CV. In case you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified whenever I upload another awesome machine learning tutorial. So let's get started with this tutorial. We'll begin by importing the usual libraries, pandas, numpy, and random forest classifier. Then for this particular example, we're going to be using the heart disease UCI data and this is relatively easy data set to show you the example. Hence, we're going to be using this one. So I'm going to run both of these codes and ensure I have the data loaded. Now, once I've loaded the data, ideally we should be checking if there are any missing values or not. In this particular data, there is no missing values. So what we'll do is we'll directly get into the step where we can divide the data into train and test. For that, I'm just going to take the Y variable as target and the rest of the variables are going to be the X variables. Then I'm going to use train test split to divide our data set into train and test. So let me just run this one. As you can see, this is our target variable and we are doing a binary classification. These are the X variables that we'll be using. And let's get the Y and X variables. We got that. And now let's move on to this code where we are getting our train and test split. So we'll build the model using the train data set and then we'll use the test data set to validate how well our model performed. Next in step is the random forest hyperparameters. So we're going to first begin by defining some hyperparameters and then we're going to enclose it within a dictionary called paramgrid. So the parameters that we're going to be using is n estimators I've used a generator to generate a couple of random estimators. Then I've used max features auto or square root. Max depth is two or four. Minimum sample split is two or five. Minimum samples leaf is one or two. And then bootstrap is true or false. Now, although these are some limited parameters for this particular video tutorial, you can explore a lot of these parameters depending on what size of data you are using, right? You can either use data with small dimensions or multiple dimensions. So depending on what data you are using, these parameters will vary. Anyway, so these individual lists are created. And then what I do is basically I put them into a dictionary where it has multiple lists of variable length. And I just give the estimators name as it should be present within the randomized search CV. So I'm enclosing all of these lists that we created. I put that into a dictionary and now call that particular dictionary paragrid. And if I run this particular code and this code, you'll see this is how our parameter grid will be looking right with all of the parameters that we just mentioned. Now, moving on, we are going to declare an instance of random forest classifier without any parameters within it, right? So we declared that instance and now we are moving into the part where we are going to do the randomized search CV. But for that, let's explore what happens in grid search CV and how does it differ in randomized search CV. In the grid search CV, we import grid search CV and then we declare an instance of grid search CV with the model that we just instantiated. And then param grid is going to be this particular grid that we just declared. And now I gave a CV of 10, verbose 2 and n jobs 4. Let me just run it and then fit the grid search CV to see how much time it takes to execute. So if I run it, it's going to run and take some time to fit it and give us how much time it's going to take to execute 10 folds with the number of parameters that has mentioned here, right? So it estimated roughly 3,200 fits that it's going to be requiring to get the best uh, model for this particular scenario. Now, obviously once this is run, we'll get to know how much time it took for all of the models to be run and then we'll know the best parameters. But compared to what grid search CV does, let's see how randomized search CV looks like. So we'll come back to this when it's finished running. Compared to what you had earlier, the only thing that will differ is this param grid argument, right? And there are some other differences, but primarily this is one thing that you need to keep in mind, right? So your estimator will be the RF model, just like what we have here. 
right? The only difference that you will see is that param distributions is the argument name compared to param grid, right? So that's the only difference. Rest all, as you can see, it's going to be present as is. Anyway, so now there are roughly 3200 fits here and it's going to take some time. So we'll know what that time is. And then we'll again run randomized search CV and see how much time it takes. But before that, I want to also give you a small comparison while that is running. Now let's consider that, you know, if we have three different hyperparameters and we are doing three folds, uh, both in grid search and in randomized search CV, right? So if we had to put four parameters in N estimators, max depth two and bootstrap two, and if you consider three different folds, you'll roughly end up with 48 combinations that the grid search CV has to go through to find the best model for this scenario. Now, which means if I had to take all of these estimators and put all of these combinations in place, it's going to be these many combinations, right? So it's going to be like say 16 combinations, but since I'm doing three folds of it, I'm running it 16 into three times, which will end up being 48, right? So Basically, if all of these parameters ran once in each of the folds, basically you will get 48 different variations run to figure out the best variation. Now compared to how randomized a search CV works, it's going to be a little different than that. Now, instead of going through all of the 48 combinations for these parameters, randomized search CV will go through a random, will go through random parameter combinations and it will have a significantly lower number of combinations to run through to find the best models. You might ask me now, which of these searches are better? Now, it depends on what kind of dimensionality data that you're using, right? So for smaller ones, obviously Great Search CV is going to be much more better performing. But if you have larger data and larger dimensions of data, then the best option to go with is the randomized search CV because it's going to be doing less number of combinations to get the best outcome. So coming back to our model, now our model has been run and it took roughly 2.1 minute to run 3,200 fits, that is combination, to figure out the best classifier. So if I run it, you'll see this is the best parameters that we get. Now, let's run the randomized search CV and see how much time it takes compared to what we did here, right? So if I run this and fit the model, it's now doing 100 fits, right? So 100 by 3,200, you'll see that with a fraction of combinations, it's able to figure out which the best parameters for this particular model will be, right? And it took only 3.5 six seconds right so 3.6 seconds versus the 2.1 minute that's a big difference in type right so you will get a lot of advantages if you're using randomized search cv for larger dimensions now let's look at the best parameters and see how close it is to what we have here so i'm just going to bring this one down so we can compare it Let me run it. So this is the random grid and this is the grid search C. Okay. So N estimators 56 within grid search and it's the same within random search. Minimum sample split is 5. Minimum sample split is 5, 5 again here. Minimum samples leaf is 2. Minimum samples leaf is 2. Max features is auto. Max features is square root. Max depth is 2. Max depth is 2. And bootstrap is true. So only one thing differed. Now, in the real world scenario, not all of these parameters is always match, but more or less what both of these are trying to do is getting you the best combinations that will give you much more accuracy. So this is how randomized search CV is implemented. Please remember the difference between these two is the argument param distributions and param, param grid, right? So that's the only difference. If you can just simply copy this code and replace it with randomized search CV along with param distributions, you're good to go. Now let's look at the final thing, the accuracy of both of them, and it should ideally be close for this, both of them. So if I ran it, you'll see the accuracy for the grid search CV is 
0.847 for the drain and for the test it's 0.836 and within the randomized grid search C, we will see the train accuracy is 0.86 and the test accuracy is 0.85 both of which are better than the grid search cv here not all cases will end up like this fortunately for me it ended up like this but you will see depending on the dimensions you are using grid search cv will take a longer time to execute if you have bigger data sets and it obviously performs with smaller data sets much more better and for larger data sets randomized grid search cv is a better option to go with because of the time it saves and obviously as you can see it also gets a similar train and test accuracy as we have for the grid search c so that is how you implement randomized grid search cv and save time on large dimension data set thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel